I am pleased to have this opportunity to tell you what it means to me to be a Christian. We are what the past has made us. We are the sum total of all those influences which have been brought to bear on our lives thus far. I will always be thankful for those who influenced me for good, particularly during my formative years. I have always been aware of God, and one of my earliest memories is of my dad with his open Bible before him, kneeling to speak to the Lord before he lay down to rest. As many of you know, I am a child of the regiment, as it were, being the son of Salvation Army officers, an OK, or officer's kid, in Salvation Army parlance. Perhaps as a small child I did not understand what being a Salvation Army officer entailed, or perhaps I was confused as to what constituted work, for I can remember being asked by a visiting Salvation Army leader maybe just trying to make conversation with a little boy. And what work does your father do? To which I replied, oh, my daddy doesn't work. He's a Salvation Army officer. <laughs> of course, I soon grew to know better than this. Parental example is fine, but God has no grandchildren. I was given every encouragement to seek the Lord for myself. And I'm glad that while still quite young, I realized that I needed to seek God's forgiveness and allow the Lord Jesus Christ into my life. There have been a few stumbles along the way, but as God's plan for my life has unfolded and as my understanding has grown, there have been through the years many more decisions which I have been required to make. For me, being a Christian is a seven days a week affair which fills my life with a deep down peace and satisfaction which I find difficulty in describing. Many people say they believe there is a God, but only call on him in times of great crisis and distress. I find this rather sad. Although I realise that God can use these things to bring people unto himself. I'm sure that God is interested in the minutest details of my life and wants to share my joys as well as support me in those times of concern and sadness which come to all of us. Some people's picture of a Christian is of a person with a sad countenance who lives by a very strict set of rules and never seems to have much fun or enjoy life very much at all. But Jesus came to give us life, abundant life. For me, being a Christian is a joyous experience to be shared with others. A service such as we are sharing this morning is a time when not only can I offer my worship and thanks for all that God does for me, but it is also a time when I can gain what I need to cope with the week ahead. I am thankful that I am able to take the Lord with me into my daily employment in the production department of a large daily newspaper where my workmates are aware that I am a practising Christian. God gives me the opportunity from time to time to share my faith, not always so much by what I say, but by the way I endeavour to live by his help. My wife Isabel and I have a granddaughter whom we love very much, and probably spoil just a little, who loves to stay with Mama and Papa. The Lord helps us in our family situation. For just as the encouragement and example of our parents help to guide us in the right direction, it is important to show God's love in our own lives so that those who look to us may have a good example to follow. The Lord never promised that his followers would not have to face the usual bumps and knocks of life. But he has promised to walk with us every step of the way, giving us the strength to cope with whatever may be our lot. Christians are not perfect, just forgiven, says a bumper sticker I have seen. There is a great truth in this, but the wonderful thing is that despite our faults, and we are all human, God loves us just the same. This morning, I am happy to say that the Lord Jesus Christ is a very real, daily, positive presence in my life. He guides my life, strengthens me, and surrounds me with his love. The words of the chorus to one of our Salvation Army songs probably sums up very well just what I have been trying to say this morning. In the love of Jesus is all I need, while I follow closely where my Lord may lead, by his grace forgiven, in his presence blessed, in the love of Jesus is perfect rest. <laughs>